Hi, it's Sharon, and today I'm going to show you how to make salt dough. And from that, you can create some of these lovely items. So salt dough is a mixture of salt, flour and water. I will give you the sort of exact ingredients in a moment. And as you can see, I've already had a go with it. And it's the first time I've ever used it. Um, a friend of mine used to say to me all the time, oh, Sharon, you know, you should make salt dough. You can make all sorts with it. And I never tried it. Um, so now I have. And yeah, I quite like it. There's a few things I'm not so sure about, um, but I will mention that as we, well, I'll mention it now, really. I found that when I've painted them, um, I've only, I've used acrylic paint because it's dough. Even though I sort of, I've cooked it till it's as hard as it can get, um, it gets a bit damp, so it's a bit sort of flaky almost, uh, which is very nice. Um, but once it, it then dries up again, and it's perfectly fine, because um, I don't, I, you know, I don't want to put anybody off. This one, I've made like a hanging decoration. It's difficult to see because I'm just gonna let everything slide down. Oops. And I've made a couple of different ones. So I've got one that's been painted. It's got um, PVA. It's got acrylic paint on. Then we've got PVA glue. I've just put some decorative flowers on there. I made these as well, but not from the salt dough. And this one's quite plain. It's just got a thin layer of PVA glue with a tiny bit of glitter on. I don't even know if you can see the glitter. It's so fine. Um, but there we go. So I've used a bit of twine to string them together and I think they look quite effective because I wasn't sure um, but yeah I quite like them actually once they're done they're really nice you can also if you make it too thick they can blow a little bit so they sort of end up sort of with bits that I'll show you on another one that's that's sort of lumpy and bumpy so you need it quite thin and really you don't want these lumps on it so with these ones just going to show you some of these that I've painted up so you can see them sort of close up oops don't know if that's in the camera there we go and I often have incense and these I've made sure I've got a little hole in them um, and I've used a skewer that I've cut down so I've just cut pieces of skewer off and I've made sure that when I've when I've put them to dry they've had a piece of the skewer in so that because it, it shrinks a little bit and I wanted to make sure that I could thread string and things through them. So yeah, they're good for fridge magnets as well. They you know they're really you can do all sorts with them. And they're nice to give us a little gift. So they're quite good to give to grandparents and things or to just to a friend and just to you know a little sort of something to let them know you're thinking about them you can also decorate them with bows and things um i was going to make some bows and put you know stick them on but i just i actually preferred the way they looked like this so now to making the salt dough as you can see i've made lots and lots of them these are some of the ones that i've not sort of decorated yet um you do get quite a decent amount when i originally did it i made double the amount i'm just going to make the normal amount that it says on the recipe today so you will need a nice clean surface to work on and if you've got um an apron i would pop that on because you do get a bit messy you'll also need two cups of the same size so i've got these plastic pots that are identical apart from the color table salt so you need half a cup of table salt one cup of plain flour a bowl to put them in this looks a bit messy because i did make an attempt a short time ago and the something had gone wrong with the food color and it didn't smell very nice so i started again got food coloring optional you can leave it plain and I don't know if I said, but yes, half a cup of water. So I'm going to put the cup in the bowl because I think that's easier if it sort of stops it getting too messy. I'm going to fill that one cup 
oops, it's a little bit over, but it doesn't matter. One cup of flour into your bowl. Pull that so you can see. There we go. So one cup of flour. Let me undo this salt. Make sure that you fasten them up afterwards because if they spill it gets everywhere and it's small and gritty and not very nice. Oops. Oops. Just broken that. Let's get in the bowl. And half a cup, use the same cup. That can also go in if you want it to. Half a cup of salt. So we're about half a cup there. Oops. Half a cup of salt. Pour that in. So you've now got in your bowl your salt and your plain flour. Just do that. Mix them together with your hands. You can use a spoon if you prefer. I'm quite happy doing it this way. And now into there, you pour half a cup of water. Now I'm going to put in some drops of food colour in. I put quite a bit in because the I, the one I just tried making, the colour wasn't that bright and I wanted to be able to see it. I'm going to swoosh that around. Oh, it's a beautiful blue. You can see it coming out nicely. Now you might find that you need to add a bit more flour, and that's fine. You don't want to add too much so it's too stiff, but you don't want it a sloppy mess. As you can see, the colour's really, really nice. Oops. A bit more flour, I think. So maybe about... I won't say a quarter of a cup, just a tablespoonful, just to see. You could actually use less water. Oops. There we go, it's all starting to stick together now. Oh, what a lovely colour. Very pleased with that. Now I'm going to use, when I start making the, rolling it up and it, rolling it out and everything, I've got some cookie cutters, which are fantastic. Um, they're just, to be honest, they're perfect, especially if you're wanting to make things like um, hangings with them, you know, something that you can hang from your wall. They're a good size, so they're not too small and they just do the perfect shape. get as much of it out of there as we can now that is the perfect texture just going to roll it about a bit see if there's anything else left in there which really there isn't now what I've used is, I'm going to move this bowl out of the way because we don't need it, and the two cups they're finished with, stretch across there. I have got some greaseproof paper. Now this saves the table getting all messy, and it means it should peel off easier if we need it to. Which we will, because we need to transfer it to a baking sheet when we're done. everywhere and I'm just gonna for now split it in half I'm gonna roll it into a circle now we'll get those cookie cutters that I brought in so I've got an assortment we've got some heart shaped ones I've got some a star and I've got a flower you can actually you know you can do it freehand and just make something that you 
a shape or a something out of it that you want to do but I just I like doing it this way it's easier put some to the side a moment and I've got a little rolling pin and I've also got a second piece of grease proof that I'm just going to pop on the top we're just going to roll it out now you don't want it too thick but you don't want it too thin just getting that in between sort of size because the ones that I did that were quite thick took a really really long time to cook in the oven but I just don't want them to be so thin that they snap right so we're going to look at that it's a bit different thicknesses all over Oops. as you can see it's sticking to the rolling pin that's the reason why I use this because it doesn't it's nice to have that layer between it right hopefully that's about the right size so as you can see i'm trying to work out in millimeters how, how thick it's only a couple of millimeters thick this side seems a bit thinner so i'm going to do some stars because i think they'd look really nice on a mobile cutting out the star shape i've got a tin here with a piece of grease proof in it it's an old one bring out that star that's becoming a little bit misshapen so there you go things go wrong sometimes so maybe i'm thinking we should just roll that out again i'm actually going to take a bit of flour on it because i'm thinking that it might be a bit too it's a little bit too sloppy so just, oops mix everything together on here It's like making cookies it really is just don't eat these ones there i think that texture's a little bit better getting a pull of flour otherwise it'll end up all over me <laughs> right so split in two put one on there roll into a circle just move that tin till you need it and pop it on there just flatten it down a little bit with your hand and use this little rolling pin this is my crafting rolling pin so I use it for everything that I'm when I'm making things this tends to get used just gonna lift that up and see what how thick it's looking underneath seems to be a bit different thicknesses so we're just gonna go over here roll it again oops off it comes fabulous that's a bit thicker at this end it's very sticky today this didn't happen when I did the first one uh, just don't give up don't worry it will come right So this ends a bit thinner, it's a bit thickness, different thicknesses, but it really doesn't matter. What I don't want is a load of air in it because I think that's what causes some of the air bubbles trapped there. Now, start again. So, as close to the edge as you can. Now we're going to 
peel it straight off. Now it's a bit misshapen again. So we're having a few problems with this one today. But we will not quit. Right. Hopefully this one will come out okay. Third time lucky. There we go. So I'm going to pop that on the baking sheet. Can decorate it up in a minute slightly misshapen too use flour underneath right I'm going to try and get a second one out of here and we're going to roll that up Roll it all back together. Just gonna get my original bowl. I think it really does. It. When it, the first time I made it, I actually made it and I left it quite some time. So I think maybe because we're having to do it straight away, it's still a bit sticky. So more flour. And it just shows that, you know, not everything turns out as you want it to. You know, you sometimes do have to sort of take a while to get things right. Those who watch my watch me regularly doing these crafts, you know, I I do have a lot of sometimes, you know, it's not always the first attempt that gets filmed. It does sometimes take a while. So if you feel like you're struggling with it a little bit, you know, I have sort of I might have had the same problem by the time I film it, it tends to sort of come out quite good. But this one I'm doing all from the start, so you can really see. There. So now we have, we're worn out after all this rolling and sorting pa um, this pastry, this dough out. There, it's not exactly pastry, is it? Right, so. Half it, roll it, pop it on the sheet. A little bit of flour, we think, just to make sure it doesn't stick. There we go, a little bit of flour on top. Don't want to lose that colour, so not too much. And put your sheet back on. And roll it out. Roll it. Oh, that's lovely. Put that down. Roll. And this way. And we're just going to take off that. Oh, now that the thickness of that is just right. A couple of millimetres. Not that may be a bit thin there, but just around this side it's a bit thicker. So, cut out a star. Oops, hopefully it'll drop out of the cutter okay. Yay! And we pop it on there. And we're going to cut out some more. Shake it slightly to get it out. stuck a little bit doesn't matter come on there we go it's got a little squishy bit on the end but it's still going to work really well and another star so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go get a cocktail stick actually a skewer and i'm going to show you just how to cut it down so that you can put it on and make an oil in them. So I will be back in a few minutes. 
So I've been and got a skewer. Now I found that what I did was about what half an inch, an inch, and just went around with it with the scissors. Just be very careful. It breaks easier. If you break it off, you've got sort of a sharp, horrible end where this it just sort of works as you need it to. I just stuck it in there it right through and I'm just going to pop it on the baking tray so I'm going to bring the baking tray back up because I've already got them on there but they've not got the skewers in now because I've already done this before I've got some pre-made and you know you're not exactly wasting one but you might as well keep the ones you've already done it just saves time so I'm going to stick them in there as you can see with the stars that I've got in there Give it a little twist so that it goes right through. And oops, that one all the way through. Oh, that one's a bit skinny, but it doesn't matter, we're still going to use it. There we go. Let's see if I can unpeel these from here. I found that the longer you leave them on the paper as well, the sort of more difficult it seems to shift them. Oops. it goes let's reshape it I'm doing this one because I think it would make a really nice mobile and I will post when I when it's all done I will do a post to show you what it looks like even if it's just a little catch-up like a YouTube catch-up you, I can't say it, YouTube catch-up type thing and I will make sure that things like the bird feedy get to see that outside and all the other bits that we've made lots of the other things that we've made oops starfish so i think we could put we could paint these well we don't even need to paint them we could just varnish them slightly put a smiley face on first and they will look absolutely adorable so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There. So I'm also going to show you the heart, the cut out hearts as well. And I'll just leave those on a piece of paper. So put that there. dough push it all together remember it's not a pizza so we don't have to go mad <laughs> push it down two pieces together flatten it out as much as you can and roll and there we go Turn it round. I can see already that one side's a bit higher than the other, so we're just going to try and make sure it's all the same. Sorry about that, it's just a message to my telephone. I don't know where it's gone. sticking up yeah that's really good what I'm going to do is it's not very flat I'm just gonna just go back over with this doesn't matter if it gets a little bit thinner than it already is move that so we'll have a few hearts this time to the edge so I've got one now I'm going to do different sizes of these. I've got four with me, and I'm because the next time I do a hanging with them, I start with the large one on top and work the way down. So I've got 
one small one don't forget to put your uh, your skewer in there you can use a cocktail stick got stuck that's okay put that on the tray I'm going to work from the top so we're going to go from the biggest just move that now I've got some um, things to decorate them with you can use anything you have leave that in there and what we're going to do is the tools that I've got you can do a nice pattern on them so I'm just going to work from the bottom up as you can see it's making little spots little dots there we go it's flattening it out a little bit but it's all right go so we're going to put pop the art heart on here and move the star over or even put it on a separate piece of paper you can always transfer that to a tray quite easily so pop it on there and we're going to do the next size down now so next size down I'm going to do a different pattern on this one in a skewer so you've got your, your fastening hole there we go that's lovely um what can we put on this one so this one's like a little round so we're just gonna because they don't have to be the same put little dots all over it there. oh that's great move them so you can see them there. that's two ready so we're going to do the third one now so the next size down and peel pop it on there skewer And what pattern could we have on this one? Let me see. Ooh, not quite sure what this is going to do. Just going to go around the edges. So it's just got sort of a bit of a pattern to it. Going to work his way back down here. There we go. And the small one now. This is the final heart. Unpeel. Perfect. Pop it on there with the other three. Don't forget. Put your little bit of skewer in for your hole. And what can, what can we have for this? Let's have a look. So these are smaller dots. I've got some larger dots, some small ones. Now you can also do we, this with the stars. You can go on there and you can do a pattern on them if you want to. Or you can leave them completely plain. They're going to look so nice when they're done. So I'm going to bring those stars back that we did earlier. I'm going to move this out of the way. Finish a bit from there. Oops. And I'm going to do some patterns on here so that you can see that how nice they look. Oops, that's come out. 
you can leave these in when you're cooking them if you do that if you decide to do them in the oven they're all right with the skewers in it's you cook them on the lowest heat possible and they take about two to three how three hours otherwise airing cupboard windowsill leave them they can they air dry and they're perfectly fine and it's nice to do that it just takes a bit longer and once again I'll tell you the ingredients while I'm just decorating these up so for some salt though you will need one cup of plain flour maybe a little bit more but just put the one cup in to start with half a cup of table salt and half a cup of water and some drops of food colouring of your choice and if you want to just to give it a nice colour which means you don't have to do lots of painting you can just varnish it instead so I'm going to do this one this time that's it across there I'll show you these in a moment what I've done it can be more adventurous than me and uh, I, I'd love to make a salt dough uh, mermaid but I, I didn't think we'd have the time really for me to do it so this is why we're doing this and don't forget if you are going to put them in the oven this is why I, I personally advise to do them in the airing cupboard or on a on a hot sunny window so don't forget to turn the oven off right, so this one can have lots of dots this is the part I like best decorating them up in the patterns on uh, what else have we got we need something a bit more adventurous let's see oh one two three four that's quite a nice pattern these tools were just a couple of pounds and they're really good really useful Ooh, I like that one. I think we'll do another one like that. So it's just as you can see I'm just using the edges going on to there. Each one. This one as well. Uh, I've seen them with a, a different shape on I'm trying to sort of show you an assortment of what we've got oh now this one I'm not quite sure what it's going to do but we'll have a look oh it's just a just a circle just a little circle really I imagine if it was thicker the pattern would be quite different Oh, it's looking so good. Now, if you don't want to use them to make a hanging with them, don't use the bits of skewer. Just leave them completely plain without the hole, um, which will be make it much easier. And you just stick a little a little magnet on the back, glue it on, and you can stick them on the fridge. So, thank you so much for joining me. I hope it works out well for you as you can see I had a few problems but honestly just do it enjoy it you know it's part of the fun you know not everything works out wonderfully straight away uh, but these are looking really good look 
can see. And uh, have fun. Enjoy. Thank you.